Well, we are moving towards a 100% renewable grid. So the question arises, what do you do when the sun isn't shining or there's no wind blowing? So this house tries to answer that question by using thermal energy storage to shift the consumption from the time when it's warm and sunny to when it's cold and dark outside. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. This week we have a real treat for you. We're going to visit a carbon neutral garage suite in Edmonton, Alberta, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Hello, my name is Carly Coleman and I welcome you to my laneway home, the garage mahal of your dreams. One of the first of its kind in Alberta, this carbon neutral garage suite is built on top of the garage as a rental infill in the backyard of Carly Coleman and Andy Hink's property. We've done stories on laneway homes before, but this one is one of the most innovative net zero backyard homes that we've seen. There are so many things. First of all, it's one of the first uh, permitted laneway homes in Edmonton. But in addition to that, it has solar walls, it has solar panels, it has a thermal heat pump, it has really thick walls, uh, it has energy efficient appliances, it's, it's really cutting edge. When Carly and Andy decided to tear down their old garage, they had a vision to build the greenest, most sustainable home they could. So, they hired carbon busters, zero carbon designers, and energy efficiency specialists. Goto Stoika is the president of Carbon Busters and is the author of the Home Energy Handbook. He explains the concept of a carbon neutral home. Zero carbon is basically a building that doesn't emit any uh, carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gas emissions on a net annual basis by replacing the energy with uh, renewable energy. That sounds like a net zero home, right? Godo says the difference is that a net zero home produces renewable energy on the home itself, whereas carbon neutral homes can use renewable energy produced off site. Let's say if you are in an area where you're shaded from a high rise, uh, well, if you have a net zero definition, it's almost impossible to make a net zero house in that area, but with a zero carbon you can by saying putting the renewable structures on a, on a different building or somewhere in the community. When we say carbon neutral or net zero, we're usually talking about being energy self-sufficient and carbon neutral in the operation of the home. But what about all of that embodied energy from the materials and construction of the home itself? This is part of a research project at the University of Calgary. We are actually looking at the life cycle impact of this building. It's called life cycle assessment, sense of life cycle assessment. And we're taking uh, the energy it takes to make the building, the energy it takes to run it, the energy to decommission a building at the end of the life cycle. The project's goal is to find out if homes can be carbon neutral over their entire life cycle. And to that end, this home has some unique features that we've not seen before. Yes, it gets its electricity from solar PV modules, but that electricity powers a heating system that includes a solar air wall and an air to water heat pump that heats water and stores it in a giant thermal energy storage tank. Okay. So uh, I'd like to tell you the story of how this building is heated. And it starts with the solar walls. We have basically a, a black metal background and we have a plexiglass covering. So when the sun hits this, uh, this solar wall, the heat gets converted to infrared, gets trapped inside and travels up uh, all the way to the, to the ceiling. Up in the attic, you have a fan that blows this hot air towards an air to water heat pump. And this air-to-water heat pump has basically a refrigerant that transfers the heat from the air to the refrigerant down to the utility room where there's a second part of that heat pump and it gets converted to hot water. And this hot water goes into this gigantic storage tank. This is 2,600 liters. Highly insulated, it's a special product and this gets used both for space heating and for domestic hot water. That huge 2,600 liter water tank is the home's energy storage system. It can capture heat when it's warm and the sun is shining. It releases it during the night or when the sun is not shining. As a net zero home, this home also features energy efficient appliances, LED lights and plenty of natural light and it has extraordinary levels of insulation. So the walls are 10 inch, so it's uh, normally R38, which is about twice as well insulated as a regular house. 
The attic is uh, R105, which is two and a half times as a regular house. And the floor has an insulation of over R40. Uh, that is, you know, most homes have R5, so that's a lot more than a normal home. Homeowners Carly Coleman and Andy Hengst set out to build a garage suite, but we wanted to know what possessed them to build a cutting edge, sustainable carbon neutral rental suite. The opportunity to do it, frankly. Um, the world needs buildings like this and we uh, believe that we can provide a prototype for it and had the time, energy, and belief in it. I hope this becomes the norm. That's what I hope. And I hope that technology like this, with the research that we're doing into how it's functioning and how well it functions in a climate like Alberta, both politically and uh, temperature wise, I think that this house provides information and awareness and opportunity for others to do the same thing. Garage Mahal indeed. This carbon neutral net zero garage suite is paving the way to new forms of sustainable housing that incorporate energy storage to make the most out of renewable energy. Learn more, check out our blog, photo gallery and podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Check out our story on some of Vancouver's amazing laneway homes. By relaxing the parking requirements, Vancouver residents are building attractive laneway homes that are actually sprucing up mature neighborhoods and providing affordable housing at the same time.